let me turn. I gotta turn off notifications and go on focus. Hi, ladies. Hey, Willie. Hot cocoa. Hi, girls. We are back for office hours. I feel like I missed last week, and I feel like we haven't done this in forever. <laughs> What are you guys up to today? Hey, girly. I love when the girls get on. Let me look. I feel like I haven't done this in so long. Jeez. I feel like I haven't done this so long. You're studying. Hi, everyone. So just as a disclaimer, if you're on Facebook, I'm not going to be able to see your name unless you give StreamYard permission. Hey, Stacy. Hortense. Thank you, Delanda. Monica, it's your first time catching the live. Hi, gorgeous. I'm so glad you're on. Skook Squad. This is this should be a good discussion, guys. I'm excited for this discussion. Um, as you all know, I mean, a lot of the girls that are in the It Girl University group and just my subscribers, you all know I have talked about this so much that I am on the ultimate glow up journey. I'm like, I'm trying to level up. And what I love about this community that we have, I feel like we're all on the same journey. And so I think it makes sense for me to talk about the things that I've been doing because I have come a long way, child. I have come a long way. <laughs> um, Spooks, oh, this is your first time also, Spook Squad. Hi, Facebook user. I can't see your name. Um, you have to give StreamYard permission. Hello from Canada. I love Canada. Guys, I just, I love traveling. I love going to new countries and just, um, the last time I went to Canada, I've been to Montreal and I've been to, is it BC? I know I did that suspension bridge. Oh, the most beautiful, beautiful place. Hey, Katasha, you're watching the weight loss transformation. Do you like it? Isn't it easy? Like the whole like plan is easy, right? I feel like it's super easy. I mean, I feel like the hardest part of like this weight loss thing is just doing the things that you have to do. So it's kind of like you prepping your meals on a Sunday night or whatever, which y'all know. I mean, I, if I'm going to do it, it's, it's got to be easy. I actually have a meal prep video, how I prep for the week, um, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I have that video coming up soon. I'm actually filming that tomorrow morning at the crack of dawn, okay? This should be a good one because this is perfect for my lazy girls. This is perfect for the, if it ain't easy, I ain't doing it, girls. So just make sure you have your notifications on because I have that coming up like top of the week. Oh, hey, Spook Squad. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about now. We're going to talk about leveling up. Um, I just feel like, and I've talked about this a lot, and if you haven't attended a office hour before, you know, it's so important for you to look your best, to feel your best, and glowing up is not just about vanity, guys. I am wholeheartedly into making sure that my mental is correct, that I'm nice to everyone. You know, I don't like mean girl spirit. I don't like talking bad about anyone. I don't have the time to talk bad about anybody. I just feel like 
when you're doing things like that, it's very much a reflection of who you are inside and things that you're battling. Um, and that's when I say, and, and I'm not judging anybody who does that. And I'm not judging anybody who sits down and gossip because when I was younger, I definitely had my moments. I'm not trying to act like I'm this perfect angel or anything like that, but I have definitely worked on myself inside and out. And you could do as much stuff on the exterior as you want to baby. But if you are not right inside, if you not have you haven't like turned inward and really got to know the true you, then this 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 is for you. This is for you. This we're not perfect over here. We are on a journey. We want to be better every single day, but it is just not only physical, although physical is a huge part of it because we need to take care of ourselves for health reasons. We need to take care of ourselves because we need to survive out here in the world and people judge us by the way that we look. They treat you differently based on how you look. I know because I have definitely been well overweight. I had, I lost my sense of style after I had my kids. I just kind of gave up and didn't put any effort into myself. And I didn't even know what I was missing when it came to kind of navigating through life. I didn't know what I was missing until one day I just woke up and was like, I just had this urge to completely reinvent myself. And if I'm being completely honest and transparent, because you guys know I love to keep it real because I'm obviously not the only person going through these things, but it took someone saying some really ugly, nasty things about me or who I used to be. When, when I heard those words, I was like, oh, baby, I can show you better than I can tell you. So I, and, and now, I don't know, I'm a Taurus. I think we talked about this before. I'm the type of person, okay, who... I don't necessarily go in the corner and cry because someone said something mean or said something that hurt. So like, for instance, if somebody were to call me fat, I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe they said that. If it hurts, it hurts in the way like, damn, they got me. Oh, they got me. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of hurt. And it's going to be like, you know what? I'm never going to give you the opportunity to say that twice. Let me get to work. Do you know what I'm saying? So, and if somebody says something like, I don't know, I mean, I'm a, anything that you could say to me that I can change and it stung a little bit, meaning I took offense to it, like it hurt me, or I already was insecure about that thing and I knew I should have done something about it. I'm never going to give you the opportunity to say that twice. I'm not going to go cry about it. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to cuss you out. I'm just going to show you better than I can tell you. I'm not going to get mad. I'm going to get better. OK, and so this is what today's topic is kind of going to try to focus on. Just complete reinvention. Five steps. It's not a lot, but it does take some effort. And before I get started on step number one, I do want to say this, girls. You guys know I love you. And how do I say this? I don't know why I feel this way, but I want you to transform and when, why am I about to cry? That is so weird. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm about to cry because I'm not upset. Um, it's crazy. I want you to win just as bad as I would win. I want you to be the baddest. I want you to get your sexy back. I want you to feel the most confident. I want you to walk into the room and command attention. I want you to get that job you want. I want you to get that house you want, that car you want, that man you want, that love you want. I want you to be the best mom that you, that you could possibly be. I want you to be all of those things just as bad as I want to do it. And what I love about IGU and our little community um, is that we can do this together because I'm not exactly where I want to be. I've got plans, baby. I've got plans. So if I'm doing it already and some of these things have already worked for me, I felt it necessary to kind of share because ain't no gatekeeping out here. Like there's, we are women, you know, we are blessed to be women. Every day that we wake up and we're, we're a woman, we need to just immediately thank God because that is such a blessing to be a woman. I don't care what race, I don't care what complexion, I don't care the power that we have as women is outrageous. We are literally the most powerful beings on the planet. If you don't know that, I'm here to, I'm, I'm here to tell you. If you didn't know that, ta-da! You are the most powerful being on the planet. All you got to do is take that up a notch if you are not where you want to be. Okay? Why did I cry, y'all? 
Why am I crying on the internet? <laughs> Why am I crying on the internet? Let me read some of these um, comments because they went up. I feel like I need somebody who can like read the comments and kind of like say things to me as I as I go. See if there's anything that I miss. Yes, Lily. Yes, I want this for you all. Tears of true pride. Yes, girl. I don't know why I started crying like that, but I guess it's because I feel so strong about it. You know what I mean? Hey, Jasmine. I miss that you came up here. Hi, Cece. Stacy. Is Susan on here? I think Susan. Let me look. She, okay, you are here. Hey, oh, that's a good one, Susan. Hold on. Susan, this is such an amazing question. Are we re reinventing ourselves or are we simply becoming our true selves? That part. Yes, 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 yes. We are literally becoming the woman that God intended us to be. That is our highest self, okay? God wants us to have every single thing that we desire. OK, and you can desire you. You can be t completely happy with everything you have right now. If you built your home and you love it and you enjoy it, you love pulling into the garage. It's OK to still want more. It's OK for you to have a desire and still want more. It's OK for you to, you know, have hair down to your you know, boobs and want it down to your to your butt. You whatever your desire you can have and God wants that for you. And I hope that you know that. And it's so possible. If you close your eyes, or even if you don't close your eyes, but if you close your eyes and you can imagine something, guys, do not take imagination as just something. Do not take imagination for granted. Imagination is not just some regular thing. The fact that you have the ability to envision things in your mind that's not yet here in the physical world are y'all not catching on to the fact that you can literally create your entire experience on this universe by just envisioning what you want? I'm just trying to say that is not by happenstance that you can close your eyes and make a mental movie. OK, that is for a reason. And you got to tap into that. If you talk to any person who's successful and who are making moves out here, they will all let you know how they got to where they got. A lot of it started with a vision. They envisioned it first. And you cannot attain anything that you, if you can envision it, if you can see it in your mind's eye, you can have it. You're capable. I hope you know that. I hope you don't think that that's the myth. I pray that if you're here right now, that you hear these words that are coming out of my mind and you just try these things. I pray that you do. Because I, I'm not willing to lie. I have tons of proof, okay, that's spooky, that give me chills because this works, okay? So we're going to get started. Yes, if you can imagine it, you can have it. Sometimes I feel like who I am, I want these things. Like, do I even deserve it? I got to work on that. Yeah, CC, absolutely. No, self, no negative self-talk. We're just not doing that anymore. I need for everyone here, all my girls here, you never, you should never entertain a negative thought. If you get a negative thought, even for a second, you need to completely flip the script. This is going to take some memory. This is going to take some muscle, I should say, some, some, some brain muscle. When you start thinking of something negative, you're going to have to immediately change that thought. Do not entertain nothing negative. You bring about what you think about. So you don't want to do that. And you definitely deserve it. You most definitely deserve it. We're going to talk about that, right? So let's talk about the five steps. The first one being, you're going to have to do a self-assessment. What I think is really important is for you to take a step back and you're going to need to look at yourself. You're going to need to become the observer, okay? So you're no longer going around and looking at what other people are doing. You're kind of trying to step outside yourself and become more self-aware. You need to know the things that you might want to work on. You want to know like what you like, what you don't like, what you're good at, what you can be better at, what are your dreams, you know? Um, 
you know, if you're not happy with your weight, that could be something that you're looking. Listen, it took me looking at a picture to find out that I was overweight. It took me looking at a picture because I was completely unaware of my surroundings. So you have to get a moment of self-awareness or take some time. And the only way to be the most self-aware is you have to be in some sort of silence and you, you got to turn off the noise. You got to turn off the phone. You got to turn off the TV. And you really need to take the time to get to know who you are, what you like, what you don't like. What can you change? What are you good at? You know, what if you studied a little harder, you can get better at? Once you figure out and once you take the time to do a self-assessment, you can move on to your goals, setting goals. What are you going to do now? that you've always wanted to do or things that you want to change, what are you, what do those goals look like for you? So for me, I'll give you just an example. For me, the first thing that I wanted to tackle when I decided I wanted to level up, what's my skin? Okay. I talked about this on the last slide. So I set a goal. I want to have clear skin. Well, as clear as it's going to be, because you know, hormones and all types of stuff, but I, my skin has done like way better. Okay. Than it, Ever. My skin is the best it's ever been. Okay. So I decided I'm going to take care of my skin. What I did was I set clear, actionable goals. So that way I can achieve that. My first step. So I wrote this down, call a dermatologist. Okay. So I called a dermatologist. I went, they gave me everything that they needed to give me my prescriptions. And then I bought those prescriptions and then I had at it, started my skincare routine and I made sure that I was consistent with my skincare routine because it doesn't take doing it once or twice per week. So for me, me setting that goal of clear skin by this date, I knew that I needed to cleanse morning and night. I needed, an, I, I knew that I needed to put my treatment on. I needed to make sure that my pillowcases was always clean. Like I set a goal and I had the actionable steps to take to get there. When I saw that fat picture of me in Mexico, I set a goal. I'm going to lose X amount of pounds within the year. Okay. I knew that I was going to start working out. I knew I was going to start work eating healthy. Okay. These are all things that I had to write down and then I had to take action and I had to be consistent and then I had to be disciplined and I had to make good decisions and I had to figure out what was worth messing up or not. I mean, it's not that I was perfect the entire time. We all know this, right? You're going to fall every now and again. But the point is, I still got back up and got right back into it. I could have probably gotten to my goal weight had I not fumbled so, you know, certain times and while I was trying to figure it out because I was doing all the wrong things. I was, you know, in the beginning I was eating better, but I wasn't weighing my food. Um, I was working out really, really, really hard. So I wasn't losing as much fat. Um, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't doing all the things that I needed to do. But once I got that in check, then that goal, I hit that Well, I'm still on that journey. But consistency has been key for me. So I want everyone to set clear goals and then you need to write down the steps that you're going to take to hit those goals. I actually have, if you haven't gotten it already, there is, if you've watched the It Girl Glow Up Guide, you probably have this already. But if you're not, and I know I'm getting a lot of viewers after the live is, go, is on, um, after the live is gone as well, they're watching on the replay. If you're watching on the replay and you have not watched the It Girl Glow Up Guide, then you can get the free Glow Up Guide planner. I've left it in the link below. Go ahead and download it. It's free. In there, it literally walks you through a six-month glow up. It really, it literally walks you through planning. You can put your put stuff on your vision board. Everything that you need to kind of take these steps is in that guide. So feel free to download it. Like I said, I left the link down below if you are on YouTube. Um, if you are on Facebook, if you're streaming on Facebook, then you can go to the itgirluniversity.com and the blog post, go to the blog and you'll see the It Girl Glow Up Guide. The link is in there. You just have to subscribe, confirm your subscription, and that will be emailed to you. So yes, so you, we've got our first one. We're going to do our self-assessment. The second thing we're going to do is we are going to set clear goals so that we can hit those goals. Okay. So the third thing that you're going to do is you're going to have to start embracing healthy habits as your new way of life, because we're, we're not, we're, 
the other person is gone. Whoever that was that took over us for a little bit is gone. The new you embraces healthy habits. She wants to live longer. She doesn't want to be in pain. She wants to have a good night's rest, okay? And she just wants to move through this planet with ease, with ease. That's the goal, right? Because I just feel like as women, we just really need to kind of like move through just with ease and with grace. And all I want to do is just look cute. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not really. I'm just kidding. But you just want to be able to make your life a little bit easier, um, just navigating this world that's already crazy. Does that make sense? So we're eating healthier. If you're on our walk, run fat, our walk fast um, plan, you already are on this journey with us. Okay, we are walking an hour a day. We are eating in a caloric deficit. You're already there. The girls. When I tell you, even if I wanted to slack, I can't slack because the girls are not letting up. They are walking four miles at six o'clock in the morning. So that's what I'm talking about, embracing healthy habits. But you have to do it consistently for an extended period of time before it becomes a habit. I think if you're completely new to working out, to eating healthy, fasting, or anything of that level, I think it is more than okay to do one thing at a time. If you just need to start with moving your body more, you can move, move your body more and that's it. Once you've got that down and you've been doing that for a few weeks, then you can add something else to it. Maybe cut your calories about 100, depending on how much weight you have to lose, if you have to lose weight at all, because everyone is not on a weight loss journey. But whether once I get to my goal or not, me walking is not going to stop. Me eating healthy is not going to stop. I might just up the amount of portions, but I'm not going to stop all of this. I'm going to keep drinking the water. But what I am looking forward to is some tequila. I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> I'm looking forward to a good margarita. Um, but other than that, I'm not drinking. So I and, I, and I'm still going to keep drinking to a minimum because to be honest, it's just not the healthiest. You know what I mean? I'll probably do a glass of wine here and there, but I'm in my... In, I'm in my healthy girl era and I like being here. My stomach isn't hurting all the time, all day, bloated for no reason at all. You will notice when you start eating healthy, you're going to feel so good. You're going to realize that before you were just used to feeling bad. Who's experienced, has anybody experienced that with this journey? Because we are sick all the time and we have no idea until we start eating healthy and we start eating cleaner. And then you realize you were sick before. Your stomach was on fire. Your gut was screaming. I mean, I don't know was. I don't know was. I mean, I'm telling you. So you want to get to the point where you're embracing healthy habits. Another thing that I think is super important is journaling, really taking the time to, oh, guys, this happens all the time. Sorry. I have to, to move to my um, computer. So I think it's super important too to journal because, listen, getting your feelings out on paper and just talking about and writing out who you want to be, who you aspire to be is so, so important. And writing down your goals, period, you need to be doing that. It's so important and it's so powerful. Writing it down and then envisioning what you're writing down at the same time is a powerful combination, along with feeling the feelings that you would feel when you get to that point. So I think journaling is super duper important. And I think everyone should get a journal, get a piece of paper or something and start writing their thoughts out, what they want. Or if you're having a rough, bad day and you need to write that out, then write that out. But I personally feel like you should be only entertaining positive thoughts. So we should be talking about what we're grateful for because you can't really be sad if you're in a place of gratitude, honestly. It's hard for you to really be mad and sad about something when you're in a place of gratitude. Right now, even when things go wrong, even when things are tough, because things are going to get thrown at you all the time. But honestly, guys, there's really nothing that'll keep me down for a long extended period of time. Nothing at this point. I'm going to get right back up 
and I'm going to keep on pushing. I'm sorry, it's, it, and it might seem heartless to some people, right? Because they want you to feel bad and they want you to be down and everything like that. People are going to try to come in your space and they're going to try to get you upset for things because hurt people hurt people. And then when you don't give them the energy that they want, a lot of them are going to not like that. And it's going to seem heartless, like you don't care. It's not that. You just want to stay in a positive space and that is okay. Okay. That is okay. I hate that my camera keeps overheating. I would love to use my good camera because this camera resolution is horrible. Let me see if we have questions or any comments I would love to look at and respond to. Let's see. Yes, I have a manifestation journal. Brain dumps are good. I'm not having terrible hot flashes since we started. That's so good, Lily. Let me look at some of this. Hold on, because I don't want to miss any of these comments. <laughs> Delonda said, yes, margaritas. <laughs> hey, Nikki. Hey, Rumi. Yes, healthy girl era. I am in it. Nikki, you are too, because I see you. you do not let up on the gym at all. I'm so inspired. So Nikki Alnik, she was my roommate in college. But when I tell y'all Nikki be in the gym, she was in the gym so hard. I was like, why well, did you get myself to the yeah. gym? <laughs> like I was inspired and, and I love stuff like that. Like, I feel like when you have people that you see that you look up to, because she actually most definitely inspired me for sure. I don't even know if she realizes that, but when you see someone getting it every day is so inspiring. And I think that's why it helps to have somebody that you look up to or that you admire because those things really can drive and fuel you. I say when it comes to social media, I think it is so important to follow the people that will inspire you to do better every single day because that's so important. I'm going to switch cameras really quick, guys. Okay, this is better. Oh my God, it has this, oh, I hate that. It has this smoothing thing on it. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, so yes, I got uh, distracted. So anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get into our healthy girl era, guys, and we're going to stay consistent on it. We're not going to sway back and forth with it either. I, and I have a little bit of tough love for you guys. And, and just know that if I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm talking to me too. Okay. So I don't want anybody to take offense to this. It is so easy to make an excuse. It's so easy to say, Hey, I can't do this. This is too hard. I've got a really rough schedule. It's so easy to just be like, oh, you know, I'm just going through so much. I just really don't have the time to take care of me. You guys, I'm sorry. That's excuses. Those, those are all excuses. No one is more important than you. And if you're not going to show up for yourself, you're not going to put effort for yourself, then yeah. Okay, then this isn't your time and that's okay. But if you want some sort of change, if you have a hectic schedule or you have an odd work schedule, you got to get up an hour earlier. You got to stay up an hour later. If you watch if you watch my vlog that I just posted the other day, I was I had a list that was like this high and I had to do all of it in one day and I was tired, y'all. I did not feel like doing it. But then I wouldn't have had my meal prep for the week, you know, like things would have been in disarray. Like my kids wouldn't have like lunch and like dinner wouldn't have been prepared. And my office, which was a mess at the time, wouldn't have gotten clean. My closet was a disaster. So it's like, what, what type of, either I'm uncomfortable and I wake up early or I go to sleep a little later or I'm uncomfortable the entire week. I'm going to take that one to two extra hours of uncomfort. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, we don't have time for the excuses, you guys. I feel like this, it's okay to give ourselves grace. We are not going to be perfect every day. That's okay. But quitting, we're not quitting. We're not dropping out of IG, you guys. We're not dropping out. That, if, you, if you're going to drop out, bye. Because this is for the people who really want to transform and they have zero excuses. They have zero excuses. Having an odd schedule is not an excuse for me. Going through stuff is not an excuse for me because we're all going through stuff. I am going through things. Life is not easy right now. 
but I'm choosing to be in a better headspace. I'm choosing to push past it. I'm choosing to wake up and be happy regardless. Okay. I don't want to entertain any negative thoughts. So I let those things go and I put them away because I have a goal and we got things to do. So the excuses, you got to trash them. The excuses are just creeping in because it's a little too hard. You got to put too much effort into it. And I, I feel like this little program, the walking, minding your, what you eat and all that stuff, I feel like that's easy. All you got to do is just do it. When it comes to like how you look and your appearance, waking up 20 minutes earlier to, to make sure your hair is put together and to do your makeup and all that stuff, I don't think that that's a big deal. I just realized. Let's make sure the audio sounds good. I'm having issues today, y'all. Okay. All right, I'm back. Can we hear me? Yes? Still no? Still no sound, guys? Okay, good, we're back. So yeah, no excuses, you guys. We we're we're gonna do the things that we need to do, and we're not gonna have any excuses about it because excuses are gonna get us nowhere. If we're gonna get to where we wanna be, we have to do the things we've never done before. And we need to do them consistently forever. <laughs> right? Like it's the new us. We don't know the other person anymore. And you're going to have to have a level of discipline and you're going to have to know who you want to be. And you're going to have to keep that top of mind at all times because a man is about what he thinks about all day long. And that's it. So who you're thinking about, whether it be negative or positive, that's who you're going to show up as. So it's super important for you to figure out who you want to be and think about that person and that person only. Okay. So step number four, I think this is really crucial, is you, you might have to change your environment too, because you might be around some negative people who don't really want to change. They might be making you do things that aren't aligning with who you want to be. Maybe they want to go places that don't align with who you're trying to be and where you want to go, okay? Okay. Um, or maybe, you know, somebody, they might have your best interests at heart too, but there's some people who also don't want to see you win. Okay. So if you're telling somebody, Hey, um, let's say I'm, I'm only eating healthy foods from now on and they come and they bring you something outrageously unhealthy. They're not, they're not doing, this is not in your best interest. Okay. So it's so important for you to be around the people who have your best interests at heart. If you're trying to be more positive and they are always negative, always, there's never anything positive going on. Oh, y'all, I hate to tell you, you might have to get rid of that person. You might have to get a new set of friends. If you really want to completely reinvent yourself and your environment is contributing to it, it might be time to just change your environment. If you're single and you don't have kids and it's easier for you to get up and move, then you move to a new city. <laughs> you know, if you got to slowly step back from that real negative friend, then you got to just slowly step back. I, I'm a fan of just cutting you off completely. I don't cut a few people off and never spoke to them again and won't block them either. You know, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. It's not like I want anything bad for them. I want them to win. I want them to have the best, the most beautiful life ever. You just too negative. And I can't deal with that. I just don't need that in my space because that's not helping me. Also, you, you, you have to remove any woman that you're with that wants to sit and talk about other women. Y'all can't do that, guys. Well, for one, it's just not nice. 
I don't know. It's just not nice. I just don't like that. I just feel like nobody should be sitting around gossiping and talking negative about another woman at that. Like, mm -mm. Y'all, I'm not judging. If you if you if you did it yesterday, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying, please reconsider, because if we're being real, that is a reflection of you and what you are going through. Okay, because nobody who is happy with themselves, that is okay inside, and that is full of love, is sitting around talking negatively about anyone. And if you have a group of friends or women around you who do it, and you don't necessarily want to participate in it, then they're not. I bet you when you're not around, they're talking about you. You better believe it. If you got women that are talking about other friends in your group, I bet you when you're not around, they're talking about you. That's how you know what type of friends you are. I have no friends in my circle where we get on the phone to go talk about so-and-so. Not in a negative light. We might say, hey, so-and-so just got a new job. So-and-so just had a baby. Can you believe she's pregnant? That's the kind of conversations we're having. Like, Yay. You know what I'm saying? But if you're sitting around and you're talking negatively about another woman, I'm going to tell you right now, y'all got to stop that. I'm not judging. <laughs> but just consider the fact that it's a reflection of you. And you don't want to be that person. Whatever that is inside of you that makes you want to do that, that's the part that we got to fix. That's the part that we got to tap into. That goes into, you know, self-assessment. That goes into being self-aware, becoming the observer, looking at yourself and realizing, what do I have to work on? Am I, do I get angry really quickly? You need to become self-aware. Awareness is a gift, you guys. It is a gift. If you are on the road and somebody cuts you off and you're like, right? And then after the fact, you think about it and you're like, dang, I, I probably tripped out. That moment right there, that's awareness. And that's a beautiful thing. And you need to pay attention to those moments. And then you need to try to train yourself to have those moments more often and even before you even have a moment where you just go off on somebody or do something negative or do something bad. You need to be able to get to the point where you're aware all the time or at least majority of the time. But if you can catch a moment of self-awareness after you've done something that you shouldn't have done, whether it's yelling at somebody, cussing somebody out, or just whatever, whatever it is, like, if you can have that moment that is a blessing, you guys, I'm telling you, these, these, those types of things are given to us for a reason. They're meant to make us better people. And you got to pay attention. This is not happenstance. So pay attention to stuff like that. Okay. So you got to change your environment. You can also declutter your home, clean up, you guys, dust, mop, clean out your closet. That's going to, the energy is going to move so much more through your home. And I don't care where you live. I do not care where you live. I got this house right here by taking care of the house I had before that and taking care of the house I had before that and the apartment I had before that or wherever I was staying at. That's how I got here by being grateful for what I had and taking care of it. But it wasn't until I started decluttering y'all that my life went up a notch. Don't ask me how it works. It just works because energy is able to flow through. So you can change your environment by just switching up the energy in the house, keeping a clean home. If you feel like the energy is still off, you might need to rearrange some furniture. If you don't open your blinds every day, open your blinds every day. And if you need an excuse to open your blinds every day, get a plant. Because the plant won't die if you keep it in the dark. So that's that, That's a huge part of it is you might need to change your friend circle and you might need to change your environment. You might have to stop hanging out with certain people because they're just not going to get it. You need to hang around people who are in alignment with where you're trying to be, which brings me to step number five is really having a support group. You, you have to be friends with the girls who are trying to be on the same level as you are, whether it be business, whether it be health wise, anything you need. If you need a mentor, you need to seek out that person or you need to join a group that has interests that you're into that you want to learn more about. You need to kind of align yourself with like minded individuals. If you're not part of our Facebook group, I feel like we are all on the same road. We all want better for ourselves. The link is down below. Join the IGU community on Facebook. But there's so many groups, you guys. There's so many interests. If you're into plants, there's a plant group, okay? 
If you want to read more, you want to get be, become part of a book club, which I think is so important. I actually, if you're on YouTube, I linked um, or I listed out all the books that I have on repeat right now. And when I tell you guys, that's all I listen to at the moment. I don't even listen to music and I don't watch TV. If it's not helping me become a better person, I don't even engage with it right now. And I'm not saying I would be like this all the time, but I am so focused that the transformation that's to come is going to be monumental for me because I, I don't have time for anything else but to be the best version of myself and hit all of these goals that I have for myself financially, professionally, you know, physically, mentally, Really, 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 really taking the time to get to know myself, get in touch with God, because it's so important, you know. So reading or just taking some time to step away from social media. Social media is cool. I don't know if y'all know this. I'm really not a social media girl. I'll go ghost on Facebook for months. My Facebook app on my phone is not even like downloaded. I have to go to the cloud. To go, I have to like type in Facebook to go into Facebook to even check on notif. I don't get notifications for Facebook. I don't get notifications for Instagram. Even if you tag me, I don't get notifications. I do not wake up first thing in the morning and log on to Facebook because I just need a moment. I do get on Facebook because I do have this group and I interact with you guys, but I only come to this group. I may do a post on my page really quick. I'll I, my my page has cleaned up tremendously. I interact with my friends and family, and then I get off. That's it. I am not mindlessly scrolling. I don't have the time because I don't want to see anything negative. I don't even know what's going on in the world. Y'all tell me what's going on in the world because I don't know. Somebody told me about the earthquake. I didn't know about the earthquake. I had no idea. I have no idea what's going on. I'm in my own world. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but I don't. I don't. I can't even take the risk of seeing something negative because I'm not in a place where I'm entertaining anything negative. So even if I'm somewhere where I can't help be around something or somebody that's negative, when that comes around my way, the next morning I release it and I'm done. But I can control my social media. When I scroll, I can control it. I have shade room, any gossip sites blocked. I don't got the time. I used to, I used to. But I, I had nothing to show for it. I was accomplishing nothing, nothing at all. So I'm not saying that to say that you, social media is great. You know, I, I, social media is great. My favorite is YouTube. So I don't mind. I'll get on YouTube and I'll watch a good vlog from my faves, the positive girls, the girls that I look up to, the ones that inspire me to do better. And there's a few people that I just love to watch that's just whole, it's just, you know, wholesome. Other than that, Nah, I'm not even, I'm not even going to take the chance to see something negative and bring my mood down. I don't want to see nothing about people fighting 50, 50 online about whether or not the man should pay or the woman should pay or da, da, da. I'm not looking, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't know. <laughs> because what happens is too, people are moving and, and they're relying on these arguments on social media and they're moving certain ways in the world and they're not being their own selves. They're, they're conforming. I don't have time for people's opinions of what I should or should not be doing. I don't have time for that to creep into my mind. Positive thoughts and positive thoughts only. So we are going to self-assess. We are going to set goals. We're going to embrace healthy habits forever. Okay. We are going to change our environments if we need to. And we're going to find a support group that is going to be there for us, that is going to encourage us to keep moving on this path that we are on. So that way we have a complete reinvention or like Susan said, just become our true selves. The person that you see when you close your eyes at night, I don't want, you know what I don't want anybody doing? You know, if you see maybe somebody that you admire and you're like, I wish I could be like, no, no, no. You don't wish you could be like anybody. You want to be yourself. You just want to be the best version of that. And that's okay. It's okay to look at them and say, you know what? She could do that. I could do that because you deserve that. Because why not you? Someone said earlier, they, they're not sure they deserve that, but why don't you deserve it? We, 
we bleed the same. If I got cut, I would bleed. If you got cut, you would bleed. Okay. Why would you not deserve anything? I mean, God really wants you to have anything that you desire. And the quicker you believe that, the better your life will be. I'm telling you, your life is a reflection of how you think. And the minute you change your mindset, the minute your life will change. I promise you. Guys, I did not grow up um, in a big house in the suburbs. I grew up in the city with crackheads on the corner and drug dealers on every block. I did not grow up in this great environment. But all I knew is since I was younger, I knew I wanted different. I knew that that right there was not for me. I know my mother helped me with that tremendously because my mother used to drive us to, I grew up in Newark, New Jersey. My mother used to drive us to go look at million dollar homes or brand new construction, just so we knew that there was other things out there, that it was not just the city, that other people were thriving, other people were making money. And in my mind, when I saw that, I was like, huh, because you don't know what you can have until you, you get it, right? You, you don't know that certain things exist until you see it. And the minute you see it, then you can imagine you with it. And the minute you can imagine you with it, you can have it. I don't care how big it is or how unbelievable it may seem. If it exists, then you can have it. And really that was so instrumental in my mindset as a young girl. I, I thank God for my mother, because if it not for that, I would not know that you could live in a bigger house I, 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 because I just knew what we knew at the time. And me making moves and going to different cities and moving to different cities and being amongst different people and realizing like, oh, there's more to life than like this area. <laughs> I can have more. And you know what I did? I made sure I paid attention to how I talked, talked more proper. <laughs> so that way I could sound more educated. I did not finish college. So I'm a self-taught person. You know, I teach myself what I want to know. You know, I think I don't, I don't care where you come from. If I can come from where I came from and get to where I'm at just right now, and I don't think that I'm like, you know, where I want to be. But my point is, it doesn't matter where your environment is, because someone can be where I was when I was younger and still get to where they want to be. There's really nothing stopping you but you. I've got family members who still don't believe they deserve things. So they stay in Section 8. They make zero effort to do anything different get a job, get a better job, you know, just do better for themselves. That is a reflection of them not believing or that. And some people are just lazy, right? They're content. They're like, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to mess up this situation that I got. I hate to be that person, but listen, everybody's situation is made by them. Everybody. And until you realize that it's easy to blame your circumstances on somebody else. I have never gone into a job interview and said, oh, they didn't give me that job because I was black. I have never in my life because that's not that's not going to ever be my story. I'm going to get the job because I can do the job the best and they need to hire me. I'm going to get the job because I command it over myself. I'm not about to make a whole bunch of excuses about why. And if I didn't get it, that means it wasn't for me. And I'm just, thank God. Thank God for redirecting me. That's so important. Nobody's against you guys. Nobody is against you. Yes, there's racism and there's, you know, pe there, uh, people, you know, treat women differently and all that stuff. Yes, I, I wholeheartedly understand that that exists, but it only exists for you if you think that way. And uh, you, you really need to stop thinking that way. You could not know for sure that it had something to do with race and you could still blame it on race, right? Then that's going to be your reality. <laughs> you know, you bring about what you think about. And so you need to monitor your, your mind. You need to monitor what you're thinking about. So that way you don't mess yourself up and like mess up your experience on this planet because you're entertaining negative thoughts. So what I do want you guys, especially if you are on YouTube, I need you guys to look at the books that are in the description. You have to to get those books. A couple of them don't even require, I, I listen to audibles when I'm walking, I listen to audibles, but you can listen to these books. You can buy these books if you just love to thumb through pages and just, it will really open your mind to 
how how you're living or what circumstances you are were made by your thoughts. And to be honest, it's kind of like, dang, I did it. I did do that. <laughs> you know, I, I will say I when I've been in rough, tough situations, I put myself in that. OK, so you need to just disassociate with the people who don't want better for you. You need to align yourself with the ones who do. You need to go to the places where you want to see yourself. If that's a country club, you need to go to the country club. You need to make friends with the people that that are on the same plane as you, the same mindset, and they're on the same road. And you guys know IGU is here. I'm with you guys. We are doing this together. I don't want to do this alone. This is more fun together. It's more fulfilling together. I love watching you guys make different changes. I love going through this transformation with you guys. And I can't wait to walk across the stage with our cap and gowns at IGU because we did it. We got to where we wanted to be. And then we're going to find another level and go up that too. I can't wait for that. I'm like, I can feel it. I can see it. I can taste it. Can y'all taste that? Because I can taste it. I know it's coming. So let's see. Let me let me, let me me read some, some comments. Because that's all, that's all the preaching I'm going to do today. <laughs> now I'm going to talk to y'all. <laughs> Let's see. So what are we talking about? Angela, I have all of those huge for Joe Dispenza, you guys. If you have not read any books by Joe Dispenza, you can even look him up on YouTube. He has, you'll find videos of him talking. Guys, breaking the habit of being yourself. Excellent read. Read magic words. Oh, let me write that down. Guys, I listen to, I go to sleep to audibles every single night. I don't miss the three magic words. I have a, a, like five credits right now that I'm about to go and download like five books right now. Three magic words. Yes, Susan. It's your thoughts. I want y'all to feel me. I want y'all to feel me. Shamika, could you reiterate the five steps? Did I reiterate it before you got in? Shamika, tap in if you're still in and you need me to re reiterate that. Nikki, oh my God. So some of my favorite YouTube girlies, I love Aaliyah's face. A lot of people might already be watching Aaliyah. Um, I love Kyra. These are younger girls, but they are so motivational. I of Peyton for the laughs. Do, does anybody watch Peyton Marie? Um, I love Peyton. She's just funny. And I've seen her grow from nothing to where she is now. And that is aspirational to me. If I can think some more, I'll drop some too. Um, Shamika, yes. So the five, the five steps. We are doing self-assessments, okay? This is when you're going to take a look at yourself. You're going to become very hyper aware of yourself. You're going to figure out your strengths, your weaknesses, what you want to change, what you're already good at, what you want to focus on changing. Then you're going to set clear intentions. That's step number two. You're going to have a goal and you're going to set steps and you're going to have an actionable plan to get to that goal. For me, I talked about, for me, it was skincare. I had steps that I was going to take so I can get my skin clear. That was go to the dermatologist. That was follow my skincare routine every morning and night, no matter what, no matter how tired I was. And now it's become a habit. I did it so much. It's become a habit. I don't care how, I could be on my, I could literally, I could be dying. I'm going to wash my face. though. <laughs> if I don't do nothing else, I'm going to wash my face. Okay. Um, the third thing we're going to be doing we're going to be embracing healthy habits um, because this is not, we're not going back to how we used to be. We are going to embrace getting up, moving our bodies, making good decisions when it comes to food every single day. We're just embracing health, healthy habits, even mentally, you know, so that's not entertaining any negative thoughts. We're not doing that anymore. All right. If we catch ourselves doing it, we're going to stop it immediately. We're going to be journaling. We're going to be meditating. We're in our healthy girl era. Uh, four was uh, changing our, our environment if we need to, whether that be just our space, 
cleaning up or even our friend group, if we need to get rid of the friends that we have because they don't align with where we want to go, we chuck in them. And we sleep in like a baby at night after we do. Because I know I do. Um, Dr. Um, and then the last thing is just having a support system, okay? And just aligning yourselves with women who are on, have the same goals and the same intentions of you as you. We have an amazing group on Facebook if you are not a part of it. I know some people don't have Facebook. I know a lot of people they talk bad about Facebook, y'all. Do y'all hear? They're like, I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook. It's like, can y'all just create one? <laughs> I'm not the best at social media, but I love my group though. I love my group. That's right now. The only group that I'm in is my group and that's it. Um, Simply Susan Peyton's travel vlog with Ali. Oh yes, it was when they went to Thailand. I hate this, um, the smoothing thing on my face. I feel like I look crazy, but yes, that vlog was so good. I love Peyton and I love Aaliyah. Um, and I've been watching Aaliyah since she had like, I'm talking about years and years and years ago. So to see where she's at today is just so inspiring. Um, you know what, Lily? I started watching the Coachella trip. I haven't finished because I was really, really busy today. But I love Peyton, you guys. And you know what? I, so for my girls who are around my age, I'm older. I'm in my 40s. I think for Peyton, what she does for me is she reaffirmed that it didn't matter where I was age-wise, that I can get on here and I can do my YouTube thing because we're similar in age. But I just love her. She's just funny. I feel like we have a similar, you know, uh, <laughs> like like humor, if that makes sense. So um, where is Nikki? Nikki, are you still on here? And Kyra too. I love Kyra. They're so positive. Nikki, are you still on here? Um. Because I think Nikki would, if, if she's not following Peyton, I think she would love Peyton because me and Nikki, we have similar, we have similar like humor. I remember that from our college days. I remember me and Nikki, like we had, we were the ones telling a joke, Nikki. So I know like me and Nikki, we had similar humor. So we were the ones telling the jokes, cracking the jokes, laughing. Like, so I think you would love Peyton Nikki because she is funny. She's just got, she's funny. She's cool. So, um, yeah, I only follow on when it comes to, if I look at anything else on YouTube, it's probably going to be, you know, maybe like an affirmation video or something that has to do with like self-improvement. I like, um, anything that's going to make me better, I look at. And then if something's going to give me motivation, if something is going to inspire me, then I look at that. I do love when it comes to like discipline. I think that's why I like Aaliyah. I like Kyra and I like Peyton because they, they show you what hard work looks like. And I've literally seen them all grow. I've actually been following them since they had very little subscribers, maybe like where I am now, like 23,000 subscribers to where, to where they are now. Even Peyton grew exponentially. Um, Cause I remember coming across her video when I was doing my perfume videos a couple of years ago, she was nowhere where she is now. Okay. So those are my girls. I love them. Natalie, babies don't sleep. Babies don't sleep. What do we mean? I'm, I, unless I miss something. I'll be 59 on the 26th of this month. Oh my God, I forget there's so many Tauruses. I'm a Taurus. Hey, Darlene. Rhonda, I love and watch Peyton too. I'm in Dallas as well. Man, I want to go to Dallas. I swear, if I go to Dallas, I got to meet Peyton. I would love to run into her. She is just so funny. I love her. Shower routines, makeup tutorials, and fashion vlogs. You like those, Lily? Because I have a lot of those coming up. So you guys, so let me tell you something personal really quick. Um, and I don't know if I shared this before. My mother's house burned down last year. And it's okay. It's okay. Like, we cried one day. And that was day one. We cried while we were on the property, because I'm, I'll never forget her calling me, telling me that her house was on fire. I dropped everything, jumped in the car, drove straight there. Uh, my mom lives on six acres. And I remember us just crying, like boo hoo crying, you know? And that was the last day we cried. <laughs> that was the last day that we cried because we knew that whatever that, whatever was happening 
was for a reason. And we just let that reason happen. Well, I say that to say, when I tell y'all, my mother had a little cabin. It was old. It was built like in 1980. She bought it for the land and she was slowly upgrading it. So she had just did the kitchen, but the whole house was like a log cabin. Okay. Y'all, how about they haven't built my mother a whole modern farmhouse. I'm talking gorgeous house, you guys. And I went over there yesterday because we need to pick out light fixtures and we need to pick out handles and, you know, just all the little finishing touches. And I went and looked at her bathroom, you guys. The bathroom, the shower was so large, I screamed. Like I literally screamed so loud because I was like, ah! it is so beautiful. So I told her, I was like, I'm shooting content over here. <laughs> like shower routines are happening at the farmhouse <laughs> because it is beautiful. So if you guys like those videos, they are coming up. Um, you know, once we get through like this health phase, because you know, we're going through, we're going through a little glow-up phase, and we're we're like two months into like the physical transformation. We're gonna do two months of that, then we're gonna move into fashion swiftly. So we've got skincare stuff coming up. Um as well as a skincare challenge in the Facebook group. We've got that coming up. I'm excited for that. I am a skincare girl. And then we are moving into fashion, baby. We are moving into really finding our personal style, trying to ele elevate ourselves, even with everyday pieces. We just want to kind of step out and just have a little, a little oomph. You know what I mean? Um, I just think that's so important. You know, even if you're not dressing up every single day, I think even your casual wear could be could, could say something about you. So we're going to be talking about that in the next couple months as well. I got so much planned for you guys. And then I'm going traveling to Arizona um, for this girl's trip. Oh my God, you guys, we're going hiking. We're going, we're going to do a hot air balloon. I'm so excited. We're doing a spa day. We're doing dinner at a really gorgeous restaurant. So I've got that coming up. So we got a lot coming up, but yes, let's see. Silver lining, I love. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Like I said, we only cried one day. So who'd you say you love, Lily? Let me see who else we've been naming in here. There was somebody. Shirley. Oh, my God. You know what? Shirley is coming back to YouTube. She was off of YouTube for a while. A lot of the old school girls are coming back, and I really, really, really like it. Silver lining, thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you so much. You had the sweetest comment the other day, Susan, about the vlog. Do you got? I was so nervous to post that vlog, you guys. I just wasn't sure if you guys wanted wanted a vlog. I wasn't, so I was really, really nervous. I got such great feedback on that vlog. That really, really meant a lot to me. Um, you guys don't understand. I read every single comment. Um, so when I see things like that, it just kind of reaffirms, just, you know, keep, keep doing it. Even if you do it just for the ones who enjoy it and appreciate it, then keep doing it. Cause I actually love blogs. I'm, I'm a blog girl. So when you said that the other day, when you were like, I'm a blog girly, I so appreciated that. I appreciated that Susan. When is this Arizona trip? The Arizona trip, it's not an IGU member trip. But it's a girl's trip and it's in May. It's next month. But I do want to do, I would love to like plan something for all of us to do a meetup. We talked about that on our last office hours, doing like a meetup or something. We just have to figure out because everybody's from everywhere. We've got South Carolina. We've got DC. I think Susan's in DC. Um, we've got people in Virginia, Georgia. I've, ha I've had viewers in here from Ireland, the UK. Um, speaking of that, I wonder where everybody's from. Maybe we, we need to, I need to know where everybody's from. I love knowing where everybody is from because we had people from other countries up here the other day. And I was like, <gasps> like what? Oh, Jasmine, you're in DC too. Did I know that? See, we got Alabama. We've got Canada. Erica, are you in Canada? No. I don't remember you telling me that. Shamika, I'm in the Atlanta area. We've got Illinois. So I've got family in Maryland too. I didn't, so Erica, what part of Canada are you in? I want to go to Toronto so bad. 
Patricia, love your vlogs. Oh, thank you so much, Patricia. You guys, this stuff touches my heart. I'm not even a crier, y'all. I've been crying every day <laughs> lately. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So you're in Ontario. Ohio's in the building. Okay, so Ontario's near Toronto. I don't know how that works. I want to go to Toronto so bad. Don't ask me why. I just want to go. It just seems really nice. Whenever I see anybody, if I watch a vlog, there is a girl. Gosh, I can't think of her name. She actually, she lives in Toronto. I think she's a Canadian blogger. I love her. Dang, I can't think of her name and I hate that. But she makes me want to go. Dawn, you're in Atlanta too, okay? I'm south of Atlanta, you guys. I'm in Locust Grove. Who else is in here? Toronto is in the province of Ontario. Okay, got you. So Erica is in Toronto too? It's still cold? When does the weather change? And then Lily's in North Carolina. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I love that. New Jersey, whoop, whoop, Jersey, stand up. Striving for excellence. I know Nikki's in uh, Richmond, Virginia. Let's see what else I have. Let's see, let's see. I know we got a lot of Tauruses. Taurus season is coming, y'all. Y'all ready? Because <laughs> the Tauruses are about to start Taurusing. Shanika, you're right by me. Southside? <laughs> you're in Jonesboro. You're right around the corner, girl. So you're in Pennsylvania moving to Cartersville this fall. Is Cartersville, where's Cartersville? Is that still NPA? Where, Boston, North Florida? Barbados? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Yes, Lily, I remember you're a tourist. We had so many Tauruses. We had Tauruses. One day we had Tauruses and Virgos. We're all up and through this place. <laughs> Yes, Jasmine. Taurus is. Oh, Cartersville, Georgia. Okay, so you're in Pennsylvania. Oh, you're going to love Georgia. Are you moving for a particular reason or just because? Yes, Jasmine. Love a Virgo. We get along perfectly. I think it's the earth sign in us. You know what I mean? Yes, that's why that's why we clicked, you guys, because it's Tauruses and Virgos for some reason. I think I, I found my people. I say that to my mother all the time. I'm like, I feel like I found my people on here. And then I realize it's because a lot of y'all are Tauruses and Virgos. I think maybe that's why we resonate with each other. Um, and we like the same things. I found my coffee people on here. Like I have found my people on here. Shamika, you're a Pisces. Let me see. Who do I know that's a Pisces? Hmm. I don't know if I even know any Pisces. What makes you like what year are you? I mean, what month are you are you in? Yeah, I think I think the reason why there's so many Virgos, I think we all just have the same vibe. And I think that's the reason why. We get along. It's got to be. I mean, because like what else is it? There was no, that was the craziest thing. that I had never seen so many tourists in one place in my life. I'm like, oh, for real? My mom is there. and We're just ready to get out of PA. I don't blame you. Moving her back in July, then hubby and I will follow in the fall. Can't wait. We love ATL. Yes, you're going to love it. Your mom was a Virgo, Shamika. Virgos are everything. What about Capricorns? Capricorns are, are cool. They're all we're all earth signs, so that's why we get along the same. Coffee and wine. Yes, you love coffee and wine. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. I need to look into Pisces then a little bit. Erica, there's another Virgo. It's crazy. It's I, <laughs> It, 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 it's it's actually crazy that there's so many Virgos. It's it's wild. But like I said, I think that's the reason why we get along and I love it. I love it here. I wouldn't change a thing. So what else do we want to talk about, guys? 
I know I've been talking for an hour, but how do you guys feel about like the reinvention process? Like, where do you feel like you're at in the process? Do you feel like you have a long way to go? Does it feel daunting or are you just ready for the change? How do you guys feel? I'm ready for the change. And I feel like there's nothing that can stop me. That's where I am mentally. There's nothing that can stop me at all. Oh, thank you, Tequila. You are so welcome. You guys, listen, I thank you guys for real. You guys keep me going. You guys, if I tell you like, I have changed so much. The person I am today is nothing like who I was last year. You know, I said it before. I said it a couple times that like the Natalie I was last year would not be, up, I would not have done as many office hours. The first live, my stomach, when I was driving home, my stomach was in knots, like bubbling. You know what type of bubbling I feel like straight. Oh, like my stomach was bubbling. I was so nervous. And the minute I cut the camera on and you guys started hopping on, everything kind of went away. But the old me even would have had some little negative thoughts creep in and it would have been, nobody wants you to go live again. Like, don't go on. Don't post. Don't do this. Don't do that. That's like negative thoughts would creep into my mind. And I just would listen to them and I'd be like, all right, I'm not going to do it because nobody cares. But I'm not that person anymore. So I just get on here. Like if I would get on here and it was two of us in here, we were going to have the best time. And I wasn't going to overthink it. But there was a time where I would just hide and run in the corner. I could have had the same success with my video and I would have still hid in the corner. But I'm just not that person anymore. And I think it's because I'm ready. I'm ready to be the woman that God wants me to be or intended me to be. Because I can be whoever I want to be, whether it be good or bad. Does that, that make sense? So I'm so ready. Let's see. So ready. Let me look. Jasmine, ready for this change? Yes, girl. I'm so ready. Love the support. Yeah, I think the support is crazy. I need to sign up on the... Jasmine, I would love for you. Please, please get in the Facebook group. Susan, you are, you're not in this Facebook group either, are you? Um, Erica, I need to learn how to be consistent, but I don't eat bad. I work out three times a week. Yeah, so just keep, keep working at it. You know, consistency is like, it, it's all like a habit. You just want to get to the point where it's like, nothing for you. Consistency is something I needed to learn sincerely, but once you do something every single day and you just, even if you have to set a timer to do it, then do that until it becomes a habit. Like I don't have to remind myself to come downstairs and take my vitamin and my probiotic and all that. I'm going to do it regardless because it's on, it's like, I have a routine. Routine is important. You guys set a routine. I think if you create a routine, and don't deviate from that routine, then it's going to be like clockwork. You probably already have a routine now. Take the things in the routine that are not good and that are not, you know, putting you on a path towards your success. Just swap them out with some healthier habits and it'll be a piece of cake. You just need a really good routine. I'm telling you, it'll change the game. What inspired you to do YouTube? You know what? The minute YouTube came out, I watched a video. And back then is when the um, natural hair movement was really big at this time. I had just had my son. Well, he was almost one years old. And I remember watching a natural hair video. And at that time I was relaxed, but I remember watching this video and it was just so good. And I looked at it and I was like, I could do that get on YouTube. And I just, for some reason, I was like, I, this looks like fun and I can do this. The only problem is I had to deal with a lot of negative self-talk and I was dealing with a lot of just imposter syndrome. So I've been wanting to do it a lot. And the crazy thing about YouTube is I'll come on and I'll make like two videos and I'll have a video do very, very well and I'll disappear that was the old me. I would talk myself out of it. Also, YouTube is very hard. Um, I think Jasmine and I talked about this. And if anybody else does YouTube, you know, YouTube takes a lot of work. It is labor intensive. Like 
anything anything that we're doing, we're moving around cameras, we're having to say something, we might mess up, you got to say it over. And then once you do all of that, you have to edit. And edit takes hours, like hours, hours and hours and hours. It might take two days to edit a video. So back then I was lazy too, but I think what inspired me the most to come back this time is that I had a passion for change. I had a passion. Um, I, I know what I went through and I felt like I need to, I need to reach out to other women who was going through what I was going through. I didn't know who to, I didn't find anybody that I looked at and they reminded me of me or was going through the same thing that I was going through. So I felt like I just needed to get on here and share that. And I knew that me sharing my story, I was going to find my people. My friend, Trisha, she's tied up this weekend. So I don't think she's able to come on the, the live, but I've been telling Trisha since last year, I was like, you know, I just want to find my community. I just want to find my girls. I want to find my community. And she called me after the last live and she said, Natalie, you found your community. I'm not going to cry y'all. I ain't going to do it this time. I'm going to stop talking, but that's what inspired me to do YouTube, but I'm not going to cry. Um, Sarah, I just found you and it's so hard to find 40 plus girls who are real. The older men are just a whole different vibe. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see anybody that was like me on YouTube. That was my age. And at first I let age stop me. And that was even years ago when I was like 33, I was like, oh, you know, I don't know if I should get on YouTube because of my age. But then I thought about it like, I watch YouTube, which means people my age watch YouTube, but they needed to have a certain vibe. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was just looking like I was looking for people that were like me, you know. Um, so I'm glad I found my people. You know, I said that I wanted to find women that were my age, and even if they were a little younger, but you know, a little younger and older. That's that's who my people are. That's who I hang out with. That's who I resonate with. Um, does anyone recommend a good celebratory wine? I like sweet wines. Personally, I'm a sweet wine girl. I do not like a dry wine. So I'm going to recommend like a Moscato or a plum wine. Erica, I'm ready, but it's taking a while to reach into my bones. I need to get up and keep moving. That's my struggle. The consistency. Um, you know what, Erica, what might help you, honestly, is either if you have an old picture or if you just take the time to close your eyes and really envision the life you would have if you get to where you want to be and consistently think about that, I think that'll help because it's going to take visualization is so powerful. Don't 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 skip that step of taking some time out every single day to imagine yourself where you want to be. Because that person exists right now. That person exists right now. You're just waiting for that to manifest in the physical so you can feel it right now. So it, so you can see it. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. I know it sounds crazy, but y'all, you just have to trust me. <laughs> you, you need to really visualize. That needs to stay top of mind all the time. When you wake up in the morning, you need to be figuring out what do I need to do today to reach my goals and then just do those things and don't talk yourself out of it. Um, so what I do is if I'm like, I'm so tired, like, I don't want to do this. When I, now what I do when I start thinking like that, I do it immediately and I get it out of the way and it works for me. Um, I think there's a book. I got that from a book, the five second rule. Um, I would read that. So good. It gives me so much motivation when you got, thank you, Lily. I actually really enjoy these lives. I actually find a lot of new subscribers on the lives. Surprisingly, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know how lives work. Um, but I find a lot of girls on the replay and I'm so grateful for my replay girls. And if anybody will be watching on the, re for my replay girls who will be watching on the replay. Hi. I love when you guys come and comment. Love your lives, please. I'm not stopping. Office hours is here. I love the lives, guys. Audrey, ready for change. Let's go. Let's get it. What? Uh, yes, Posh. Okay, yes. What drew me to your page is that we had the same experience. 
Yeah. So many people resonated with the nobody told me I was fat. And then I saw I found out I was fat when I saw that picture of me. So many people resonated with that. But I don't know if y'all look in the comments of that video. So many people were like, you didn't know that you were fat. Like, no, nah, I didn't. <laughs> I said that in the beginning of the video. <laughs> It's so easy to get up every single day, guys, and five pounds creeps up on you. You're looking at yourself every single day. It is so easy to get out of hand because I say in that video, y'all, I thought I was fly on that vacation. I was packing my outfits. I was trying them on before the trip. Oh, I just knew I was killing it. I was delusional. I was completely delusional. That picture humbled me, y'all. Humbled me. <laughs> Susan, yeah, because I, I I looked for you on Facebook. I was like, I don't think she's on here. Um, and so, yeah, please get on Facebook. Please. Routine is medicine, that part. Routine is, y'all, you got to get a routine. I'm looking at old comments, you guys, too. Natural hair is when I started watching YouTube. Yes, girl. Love the natural hair movement. That's what made me, Um, I did a big chop. I cut all my hair off. My hair was this short. Jasmine, please get back on YouTube. Nikki, I love it too. I'm so glad you're a part of it. And so I'm so thankful that you're on this live today. Paj, my imposter syndrome is so crazy. I don't think it's talked about enough. It is not talked about enough, guys imposter syndrome, it will, it will make you think that you're not capable, but you are capable. I can do a whole different, we could do a whole different live on that. We can talk about, if y'all want, if y'all want to talk about fear and how fear literally just keeps you stuck, we can talk about that because you will like watch your whole entire life go by being just like frozen with fear. Patricia, the first time I saw your video, I was in love. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys, I can't. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. Why am I? I don't know. I have never been this emotional in my life, you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm back on YouTube to stay too. Like I'm not leaving. Y'all see, y'all can't get rid of me. I'm here. You learn to self-publish? I love that, Angelia. Thank you, Jasmine. Yeah, age is nothing but a number. I don't know. My mother, you know what my youngest Aiden told me one day. He was like, Mom, I don't know any 40-year-olds that are like you. You're so cool. And I was like, Yes. <laughs> did that. Did that. Um, Corey Lynn. Would you recommend outsource editing? You know what? I think we you, are you talking to me um about like video editing or were you having because I need to make sure that you because I saw somebody's also publishing something. But if it comes to like video editing, um I edit my own videos, but I, I want to have complete creative control over my videos. I have things in my mind and I want to see it through, and I don't even think I'd be able to explain that to anybody. So for now, I would never outsource my editing, but maybe if it got too crazy, because I'm seeing some people that I watch that the editing portion is what they don't have time for anymore. And in order for them to grow or to be consistent, then they have to outsource. So um, what are we talking about? A wine tour would be fun. Uh, you know, there's a gorgeous winery out here in Georgia. Um, so that might be that might be a vibe. Actually, let me write that down. I'm sorry if you're not out here in Georgia. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but we'll 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 look into that. But a winery would be so cool. I wonder where I could or how. I'll try to. I'll have to brainstorm on how to set that up. That sounds amazing because we got a, quite a few people out here in Georgia. Oh, Monica, you're cooking and cleaning. I love that. Uh, with my hair? Are you talking about when I said I cut it? 
I don't do anything to my hair, you guys. <laughs> Ooh, I hate to tell y'all. If y'all look at <laughs> You know what I did? I left my hair alone. I wear my hair in a ponytail 98% of the time. Oh, thank you, April, for subscribing. That's so sweet. Linnell, I'm late, but I'm here now. I love when you guys get on. Um, okay, you're confirming yes, editing. Yes, I would probably outsource if I just couldn't do it. Right now, I will, I'm will. i going to be honest with y'all. Yeah, I work full-time. I got children. It's not easy. It's not easy. I don't I don't get much sleep because I'm so passionate about this right now. So I'm I just push past and I just do what I have to do. Like I'm in straight grind mode. I'm in beast mode right now in all parts. Like all parts. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be up at 6 a.m. ready to film this meal prep video. I'm going to probably help go to my mother's house, help her pick out some finishes and stuff like that. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to start editing that video. Sunday morning, I'm up filming another video because I have another really good video um, that kind of goes with the glow up guide um, where we're really having kind of like a talk like this, but a little bit more, you know, produced. Um, so I've got, so I'm just in grind mode. I'm, I'm doing it because I love to do it. I just have this spark and this fire in me, you guys, that I've never had before. The the level of discipline, like where I am right now, I've never had this. I was a lazy girl before. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I was a lazy, lazy, lazy girl. And sometimes you need to have a moment of awareness, like you could do better than that, girl. You're just not doing it. You're coming up with excuses. I'm tired. I'm this, I'm that. I don't have those excuses anymore. Oh. Thank you so much. Is it very easy? Thank you so much. Uh, yes, boo. I'm so happy for you. Stepping your game up. I know that's right. I'm so happy for you. That just gave me chills because you're just making that change towards a better you. And I just love that you took that step. I'm so happy for you. Yes, girl. You have to keep me updated with that. Why did that? Y'all, I got to figure out why I'm so emotional. Like, why I am so... I got to figure this out. Because, like, whenever I hear you guys doing things, I'm just... I, I just... I feel it. I feel the joy for you. Ah, there's wine weekends and stuff. Love that. Oh my gosh, you found my video from a makeup video? That's crazy. It's crazy how YouTube works. That's why I love YouTube. Oh, you're a night nurse. Okay, bye, Angelia. Thank you for hopping on. Let's see, what else we got? Natalie, yay for a meal prep video. You guys, this is the ultimate meal prep. This is like if... If meal prep was your downfall, I got you. I got you. All I'm going to say is put on your notifications. I got you. I am the, it's got to be easy or I ain't doing it, girl. You already know. How many children? I have two boys and they are 11 and 15. Uh, my 15 year old is going to be 16 this year. Shamika, yes, the meal prep video, like meal prepping, I think is so important. But I do understand that it can seem daunting because in the past, the reason why I didn't stay on top of like my diet and why I would fall off and I, I would gain weight is because pull on it, food out, chicken out. I gotta make I don't know how many pieces of chicken and put it in the oven. It just seemed like so much stuff, but. When I tell y'all, I, I got y'all. I'm talking about easy. If you don't do this, then you just not ready. <laughs> I'm talking about easy. And the way that I have the meal prep set up, it it's like, it could be 1600, under 1600 calories or like in the 1400 calorie range, depending on where your calorie deficit is in. Um, I find that the way that I'm moving, I need to eat closer to like, 
1600 calories. I just don't go over 1600 calories just so that way I'm not dipping too low. There's definitely days where I might dip a little low because I'm super duper active, but I don't really like getting to the point where I'm, I'm dipping so low in my calories for the day because I've been super duper active because it just doesn't feel good. You feel completely depleted. So honestly, the more you eat, the better you're going to feel. You're going to have more energy. But I don't recommend anybody like not eating enough because then your body's going to just stop and it's going to hold on to every ounce. <laughs> because I love easy. Yes, girl. I'm <laughs> Y'all just don't know. <laughs> Wait till y'all see this video. I'm talking about easy peasy. Like I'm not playing. Season of gratefulness and helping each other appreciate the sisterhood. Me too. You guys, this community that we have built I mean, I thank you guys so much because y'all are my girls. I'm telling y'all, I be thinking about y'all. I be thinking about y'all. <laughs> you know? Somebody said they got to get back to work. Bye. Your name's not popping up, so I can't see it. You found me on YouTube today, Adrian. Aw, thank you so much. I'm glad you joined. Yeah, if you have a busy life, so like, the way that I, I looked at this, this meal prep video, if you're like a mom, if you work full time and you just have a really busy schedule, but you still want this change or you still have some weight that you need to lose. And it's not even if you have just weight to lose. If you just want to stay consistent on your health journey, because at some point you're going to lose all the weight and you're going to need to eat more, if that makes sense. But I still think that meal prepping is necessary so that way you're not reaching and searching for things that aren't the healthiest for you. So I'm probably always going to meal prep. I'm always going to meal prep at this point because I need to make the right decisions. I don't want to eat at a restaurant every single day on my lunch break. I work in Midtown Atlanta. There are tons of restaurants and I could just choose whatever. I work next door to Chipotle, you know, Panera Bread. I mean, every, there's pizza spots. I mean, there's just so many places I could go and mess up. I'm not doing that, y'all. I'm a meal prep forever. And the way that I'm doing it, I'm telling you, <laughs> ease. I'm here for the ease of it all. That's why I fast and I walk every day. Walking is easy. Although I do love weights, you guys. I don't want you guys to think that I don't like weights and I don't love other workouts. I do. And I'm about to get back into my weights, to be honest. Because when I tell you I'm looking for total transformation, total. But I just didn't want to do that while I was 50, 60 pounds heavier because, ooh, it was, ooh. Mm -mm. Um, question, were you lazy or overwhelmed? I'm 39, empty nester. And when my child went to college, I was finally left with myself and realized I wanted and needed to glow up. My whole life was wrapped up in my daughter. For me, I was lazy. And the I'm going to tell you why. I can say overwhelmed, but I feel like I had the time to do certain things. I had the time to do certain things, but I'd be scrolling on social media. I'd be watching, uh, binge watching a Netflix show or whatever. Um, instead of waking up an hour early, I hit the snooze button. I was lazy. I was just lazy. I'm gonna call it what it was. I was lazy. I can't say that I was overwhelmed. And it's not like things weren't going on in my life, but I wasn't as in control of my mindset as I am in now. And so now nothing can stop me. I don't care what happens to me. Something crazy could happen tonight. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to film that video. I bet that. Let's see. Yes, I'm all about ease. Yes, Nikki. You give us the tools to reach our goals. Thank you. You got, listen, I'm telling you, I'm just... I'm just telling y'all what I did, what I've learned, and I feel like I've seen some success. So, you know, why not share that? Yes, sometimes single working moms, meal prep is the way to go. Yes, meal prep is really the way to go, guys. Even when you, I don't care if you're on a weight loss journey or not, you just got to, I still think it's important to know your macros, like to know how many, you know, calories you need to be taking in. So I think it's okay once you start to know what you can eat every single day. I think it's okay. And I am all right with eating similar foods every single day. A lot of people don't like that. They want to switch it up and they want to eat something different. That's cool. That's cool. I'll do that in a minute. But I got some goals. So I, I don't, I, that ain't nothing to me. Have you ever used a walking pad? I have not. 
I have not, but I hear they're amazing. I was talking to a girl today um, and she told me she works from home and she got a walking pad and she got a desk that lifts up. So she walks slowly, not really fast while she works. And I thought that was so cool, but I have a tread, um, Susan. So I just, I just get on my treadmill. Um, my job, is your job is in the Oh, but you're remote. I got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah. I drive to Midtown every day. Oh my God. I've been a notorious snooze abuser up the yeah, girl. <laughs> that snooze button. Like dang, dang, dang. hit that snooze button. Listen, I'm with you. I, I can't even judge. I've been there, you know, like sometimes, sometimes. I still be hitting the snooze button, but you know, for things like, so for instance, I'll give you guys an example like this morning. So I thought that it was going to rain in midtown today and I wouldn't be able to do my one hour walk. So I set my alarm for 5 a.m. So that way I can walk on my treadmill. Now, the only problem with that is I woke up this morning. I had the worst headache. Like I was up, brushed my teeth. I started getting my workout clothes to put those on. And then <laughs> when I tell y'all, the head, my head was killing me so bad. So I asked Google what the weather was going to be. And I looked at my weather app and it didn't call for rain. Y'all, I got right back in the bed. <laughs> I got right back in the bed, got that extra hour of sleep. But I did walk on my lunch break though. And it was hot in Atlanta, y'all. I think I'm gonna have to just start waking up at 5 a.m. and just walking on my treadmill. I actually enjoy waking up early. If you have not woken up at five o'clock in the morning, if you have kids, if you could wake up an extra hour or two before they wake up, that moment of peace, chef's kiss. Let's see. Your job is at GT on 5th and William Street. Oh, okay, I'm on Peachtree Street. Not too far. I'm really close to like, um, well, dang, is that what you're saying? This? Hold on. We talk about this afterward. I realized because on live, everybody can get on live. So, Lily, you don't like eating the same thing over and over again? Some people are like that. I get it. I do. I do. I, I wholeheartedly get it. So, with my meal prep video, um, the meals are going to be slightly different than they were from my what I eat in a day video. So, you guys should like that. You guys should like that. I'm actually really, really excited for to film tomorrow's video. I really am. I, I enjoy YouTube so much. Y'all have no idea. You said, no, after a week or two, I get tired. Tired of the food, Lily? I'm just trying to make sure I understand. But yes, guys. So I really enjoyed this talk today. I love getting on here and talking with you guys. This is always so fun. But I guess I'm going to have to shut it down at some point because I have to get ready for tomorrow. I have to get ready for the morning so that way I can film for you guys. Let me see if I eat the same thing every day. Oh, I get you. You know, I can do it. I can eat the same thing every day. But I but I do switch it up every now and again. I'll add a little something in there. So for this next video, you'll see a couple different things for sure. My son used to be my alarm clock. Oh, yeah, Patricia. Best decision ever is to wake up early. I am with you on that. Finley, new perfume video for certain. I got you. You know, I love perfumes. Do y'all know I put on perfume to sit on this live? It's so crazy. It's so odd. But I also wear perfume to bed, too. All right, girls. So I'm going to shut it down so I can wake up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I don't want to have any bags under my eyes or anything. So I'm going to... Stop the live here tonight, but we're back on office hours. I think I'm going to do every other week. Um, yeah, because I think a few people gave me that suggestion to do every other week. So we'll see how that works. But um, I love you guys. I love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for joining the live. I hope you guys do before you leave. I do hope you guys take the time to think about what we talked about today Take the time tonight, even if it's five minutes, to really envision who you want to be, you guys. It's such an important step. Don't just watch the live and then, you know, get off and don't do that. You want to take the steps. So take the time to figure out who you want to be. And let's start moving towards that. 
together because you don't have to do it by yourself because we all are right here. Okay. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video and then on the next office hours. Bye. Love you, sisters.